Hello. In today's training, I will show you how to configure coordinate system for MTX control machines with more than one channel. I will use latest version of Interworks engineering software and my test program for MTX with XM42 control and VDB15 HMI. To run my virtual machine, I activated circles test mode. And I also reset parameters to default configuration with one channel and four axes. Initially, first three axes are configured as linear servos with assignment to channel 1 and physical drive names X, Y, and Z. We can click on Information tab and get detailed description of any parameter. Our axis number 4 is configured as a combination of rotary asynchronous axis and spindle with spindle index 1. We will test our system now using my test screen. First, we switch to MDI mode. Then we issue a simple motion command for our x-axis. And see it moving. So with one channel machine, we used our system axis names to run it in a XYZ coordinate. Now let's go back to our machine configuration panel. Add second channel. And new axis number five. We will assign this new axis as a linear axis X in channel 2. For those parameters to take effect, I will restart the system. After reboot, when we check diagnostics, we can see active error system axis name X is assigned twice. We can use built-in help system to get more detailed information about this error. To correct this error, we need to go back to our parameters and rename system axis. First, we'll correct existing axis. So X axis in channel one will become X one. Y axis in channel one will be Y one. And Z axis in channel one will be Z one. Axis 4 is a combination, so we name it C1, leave it as rotary, and spindle index 1. Axis number 5 is an x axis in channel 2, so we name it X2. 
2. And assign it to channel 2. Now we will add new linear axis number 6 to our project. That will be Y axis in channel 2. So we name it Y2 and make sure it is assigned to channel 2. We do the same with axis 7 and set it as Z2 in channel 2. And the last axis we add to our system will be axis 8, a combination of rotor axis C2 and the spindle with index 2. We can verify all axis names in parameter instances screen. We will restart control to activate our new parameters, check if there are no errors, and start our operation screen to test it. Our new axis names show up in operation screen for channel 1 and channel 2. Let's go back to our channel 1 and activate MDI mode. We will try to use the same motion command that worked fine before, but this time we got an error. X coordinate cannot be programmed in channel 1. We can open diagnostic screen to get more detailed description of this error. So we will reset control, then modify our motion command and replace X coordinate with X1. Now, when we start this command, Axis moves fine without any errors. We can use machine like this, but it will require to modify the program for every station. To solve this problem, we use Axis channel name function. So let's go back to our parameter editor. We'll go to basic parameters, then to channels, and then to channel 1. Here we have all parameters related to channel 1, and we'll edit axis coordinate system related to this channel. There is a list of up to 8 axes, and for every axis we can set new name, and classification. We can open help file with detailed description of those parameters. We can also find the same detailed information in machine parameter manual. Here you can find general information about this parameter and table explaining rules of assigning channel related name to every axis. So back at our parameter editor, first axis in channel 1 will be named X and get the classification as a main axis X. And as always, we can get detailed information about this parameter. Second axis in channel 1 will be named Y and set as main axis Y. Third axis will be named Z and set as main axis Z. And fourth one will be named C and set as main axis C. We will repeat this entire procedure and settings for channel 2. And then restart system to save and activate new parameters. After restart, we go again to our operation screen 
and we can see that our new access names are showing now. We can always check and show system names by first highlighting position screen, then clicking on its burger tab, and then clicking on options. That will open a menu for us where we can select to show access names. Now for every axis, we can see both system and channel names. So let's switch to MDI mode. We can issue our motion command with X1 coordinate and it works fine. Next, we'll make another command, this time using X coordinate and it also works fine. So this is typical axis configuration for multi-channel machines and it allows us to use standard programs prepared for XYZ machines and to share programs between stations. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.